Oh, uh, AEW is going to outsmart them all this weekend. I can't believe this is real. But tomorrow night, the long suffering story a Rhodes challenging a Samoan Joe for the world title. The boyhood dream is going to come true. <clears throat> Dustin is challenging for the AEW world title just I days after his brother beat another Samoan named Joe for the world title. What in the world? Can you imagine? How about that? See, kind of, we just, literally at the top of this, I said, everybody interprets the business different and a different slant. And then when you get the snowball rolling, whatever way it may be, it makes it fun. Yeah. Uh, it, I mean, it, I, 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 I say that complete sincerity. It just makes the business, the, the business can be so much fun. Uh, it's us humans that get into all the nonsense and riffraff and throwing barbs back and forth. But if you take a step back, even that's fun. Um, it's, 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 it's nothing like it, my man. Uh, absolutely nothing tight. We've got a lot going on, uh, uh, Wednesday night at dynamite. Wouldn't you say Conrad? I would agree. It's a busy week for AEW. First of all, that nothing happened in Alabama, definitely a football school <laughs> is not going to be monopolizing time on Saturday night. So collision is going to start on time. And there's even a special right after battle of the belts, 10 from Highland Heights, Kentucky. It's like a five hour drive for me. So this is a home game for you. Uh, but that's going down on Saturday. As you're listening to this tomorrow night, Charleston, West Virginia, one of my favorite towns, believe it or not. I actually had a great time there years ago oh, wow. at an AEW show. And, uh, I found it to be a fun little town, easy in, easy out. Yep. It's not going to be easy in and easy out for Adam Copeland. He's going to be defending the TNT title against Penta. It's the. The Cope Open, and my goodness, Penta and Edge a few years ago would have been a dream match on most people's radar, and now Edge is back, and he's not even Edge, and he's defending the TNT title against Penta. Not only that, but we mentioned Samoa Joe is going to be taking on Dustin Rhodes. I, I'm such a big fan of Dustin and that story. I know what I said earlier could be taken as tongue-in-cheek, but I actually advocated, as you know, Jeff, pretty hard to have Dustin challenge for the NWA title on Ric Flair's last match. So I'm thrilled that he's getting a shot. Yes, you I, did. I love, I love when we have conversations about, Hey, who's the best wrestler to never hold the world title. You know, we often hear guys like Ted DiBiase or even Mr. Perfect, even though technically he was the AWA champ, but Dustin man certainly belongs in that conversation. When AW was first getting started, I was hopeful he'd be one of the first champs. I just thought it would, I mean, after that match he had with Cody, who could deny the dude know how to tell a story. And we're going to see his story tomorrow night, but that's not really, unfortunately, somehow, some way, the story we're all talking about. Instead, we're talking about what felt like an audible that was called. I, uh, I have no inside knowledge. I haven't texted anyone to ask, but as I finished night one of WrestleMania, I flipped over watching collision towards the end of the show. I heard what sounded like a taped VO. Tony Schiavone, where he announced that tomorrow night for the first time ever, the young box are going to show the security cam footage from all in, in London. Now, of course, this comes up because about a week ago, CM Punk sat down with Ariel Hawani and basically set the woods on fire. <laughs> and, and now this feels like it's in response to that. And there's been a lot of criticism going around. People are saying Tony's lost it and Tony's out of touch and Tony is, uh, selling and this is a bad look and this is gonna, this is a bad idea and it's going to go nowhere and blah, blah, blah. I, for one, on the other hand, as you might imagine, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt. I think that sometimes our most memorable moments in wrestling are the works that become a shoot or the shoots that become a work and whatever Hulk Hogan told us about working ourselves into a shoot brother. But goodness gracious, if this is a way to bring back Jack Perry, this is going to be exciting. And I want to remind everybody, Jack Perry's wrestling Friday night for new Japan in Chicago. Tickets are on sale now. Uh, what do you make of this? I don't remember there being, cause let's process when this information happened. This is a VO from a taped show that airs 
12 30 one o'clock in the morning and people were talking about it now some people were dunking on it some people were being critical of it but people were talking about it between night one and night two of wrestlemania even now the morning after wrestlemania we're still talking about it we can poke holes in it jeff but is that not mission accomplished oh conrad so yeah Boy, where, where'd I even start on this? But the thing, again, the interpretation, but it goes without saying <clears throat> that the highest trafficked weekend out of all 52 weeks of the year is online is WrestleMania Monday. But now that WrestleMania is two nights, I would assume that the metrics are, are sky high on night one and night two. And, you know, today going, uh, into today three, they're all going to be very high and to create that kind of buzz. And I mean, people, uh, what, what is the word folks you, unhinged people yeah. have come unhinged in so many kind of different ways. And Conrad, I often in my mind think now. Jeff, are you not processing this in, in 2024 mindset? Because Conrad, from the day I broke in, I was always of the mindset to create the most revenue. And I know this sounds cliche, but to create the most revenue in our industry is that you got to have obviously big personalities and larger than life. And, you know, you got, got to define who's the protagonist and antagonist, baby face and heel, all those kinds of things. But at the very, very core, the way to create the most revenue is to blur the lines period. Like end of story, blur the lines on now. Is that real or, or is, is wait a minute that that wasn't supposed to happen or that wasn't supposed to be said or wait, that guy nowadays that everybody is, is perceived so in tune with the business. Hey man, he went off script. I mean, you look at the success and I'm not going to get into the territory days because it was, that's what they did every Saturday morning, not just in Memphis, but around the country, try to blur the lines, get people dialed in. Well, the attitude era at its very core kicked it off. Our man <laughs> NWO, it was the WWF invading WCW, Hogan, Hall, and Nash. Holy smokes, we never thought we would see that. Then you got into the Attitude Era, and you go, oh, my God, Vince is re – wait, he's really the boss, and Austin's talking to him that way? There's no way – Austin, there's no way that Austin went off script. That, 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 you know, just – the whole domino effect and, and the ebb and flow of, of, of it all is blurring the lines. And so what a set of circumstances that we have tomorrow night. And as I just sit here and again, process it real time, the whole essence are we're going to see real footage. I'm assuming I'm like you Conrad. I don't have any insider knowledge, but I actually work there, but I'm glad I don't know any of this because it makes it fun. But we're going to see real security cam. Isn't that how Shivani said it? The security footage. It, it, Conrad, I, help me out. I want to make sure I'm not saying this. Shit, and, I don't know. I don't work there. I'm guessing oh, too. Don't, let Shivani, don't get lippy with me. <laughs> <laughs> Shivani said security cam footage. I don't know. I mean, okay. that's. Uh, well, that's, look. You're, I, look, I only say that because I know they have the security. Off that Roll Tide got beat Saturday night. I don't know. You're going to revolt. Connecticut's going to win tonight. They <laughs> are. I, yeah. Well, I don't know about that. I'm I'm going to go Purdue. That's it. We'll we'll talk predictions in a little bit. Anyway, dynamite. We're going to see real footage. And how's this going to blur the lines? Where's it going? Who's involved? Who's not involved? But certainly a weekend that was. Obviously, the whole world talking WWE and WrestleMania and everything that goes with it and the new regime. I'd see a I would say AEW uh, has quite a bit of of chatter. Um, whether it's good or bad, that's uh, up for everyone's uh, debate. But at the end of the day, we'll see how it pays plays out on Wednesday, and that's the greatest thing about this business that I learned as a kid. 
Hey, son, there's always Saturday morning. We get to reshuffle the deck. I don't care how good or bad our, our TV or our houses were this week. Uh, we got to go do it again and saddle up. So it's exciting, man. It is so exciting. I, um, you're tired. No, I'm, I'm really trying to wrap my head around. Oh boy. This reality is so often not as interesting. Oh God. As the, oh, as the gossip and the rumor in the in, in, in the window. I'm just saying all that to say. People who are really excited to see security cam, cam footage are going to be disappointed. I haven't seen it, but I'm just saying, man, what do you think happens? Like if anything, I'm hopeful. And I know we've been told, I forget if it's Alvarez or, 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 or Dave who were like, this is not a troll job. This is not a bait and switch. It's gotta be like the, the, do you remember when, when Shawn Michaels went on Monday night raw right after the screw job and says that Bret Hart was here and they played Bret Hart's music and a little person came out in a Bret Hart mask. It was mm -hmm. silly, but that mm -hmm. checked all the boxes. That's what he's supposed to do. Well, if you really want this fan base, cause there's that, there has been tribalism around this. You know, we saw edge doing a raw raw speech on TV last week, but I'm just saying, I don't know that I would have done that either, by the way, but. We don't want to make the focus of the fucking tape, a guy who ain't here. So the focus has to be on the guy who is here. So therefore we got to have some fun with that tape. I hope this is a coming out party for Jack Perry. I hope this is them using that as a springboard to make the guy, whether you like Jack Perry or not, regardless of this conversation, but the idea that we use this to make a guy and get people talking and reintroduce him, that makes all the sense in the world to me. But like, what do we think is going to happen if we just show the footage? Like, let's, let's heal it up is what I'm saying, Jeff. I know you're picking well, up what I'm putting. I'm, what, here, here's kind of, uh, hmm, I, I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm almost conflicted that you're, that you've, that you, that's where you're at in, in the mindset, but maybe you're not finishing your thoughts because to me is we'll go back to using the analogy. If we've got this book called AEW Dynamite in the chapter written on uh, 410, uh, April the 10th, 2024, um, one of the paragraphs, or however you want to break down your book analogy is, is going to be the discussion and the reveal and the viewing of a absolutely real deal security cam footage. The story, the chapter doesn't even end there. This is a paragraph out of the uh, out of this chapter. It all depends on what they how how things are taken, what the positioning is, who does this or does that, what's said after the fact, what's said around it. I'm like you, come, coming out party, whatever. But it's there's no doubt about it. The centerpiece of it all is Jack Perry. He works for. You know, he, he doesn't work for WWE. I, I, I'm assuming there is some type of a relationship. There's got to be. Look, again, I'm I'm there, but I and I don't want to know. I damn sure don't want to know. Uh, but, man, it's got me and you talking about it and intrigued and, and mission accomplished, period. Coming off WrestleMania weekend. Yeah. So, listen, mission accomplished. People are talking. People are buzzing. And um, I just don't. You know, I know I was careful with my words there, but said differently, quote unquote, real fighting is not nearly as fun to watch Oh, professional wrestling. And so if there is a headlock or a, a front, uh, face lock or a shove and yeah, that, I'm that, saying, this is an industry where we see people pretend to get, you know, exploded by bombs and we're hitting people with chairs and kendo sticks and flying off scaffolds and yeah, guy pulling the front face lock on some granny security footage. That's all right then. Okay. But that, again, that's just one paragraph. It's, it's where are we going to go with it? Or maybe it's the headline where are we going to go with it? And that's well, got Jeff and Conrad talking about it. Well, it, what's great is I hate, I know people hate these phrases and I know punk, not punk, but, um, 
Hunter made fun of it in January. This feels like more forbidden store, forbidden door stuff. Hey, we're not supposed to say this. I mean, that to me is what makes it cool, but mission accomplished. It worked and people are talking about it.